everybody this is japan haul part two of four i'm going to go over some new items that we found um, in japan and other things that i bought just for my own personal fun so i'm going to start with this letter set that i think is so cute this is by let me tell you Gawkin? Gawkin? Here, go to their website. Let's see. GawkinSF.co.jp. I'm not, I don't really know if that's the brand. I don't know if you can tell, but this stationery is sparkly. So this is a letter set where that has like a Tokyo and area theme. And then the envelopes are also sparkly. And I just thought it was so pretty and even though I have way too many letter sets I had to have it so I picked that up and I picked up some candy stuff <laughs> this is very random I'll get to the pens here in a minute so you guys probably know about Kinoko no Yama I don't know why I said it weird like that um, <laughs> I usually say Kinoko no Yama <laughs> I think Think that's right so kinoko is mushroom and then um, yama is mountain um, so I always think of these as like little mushroom chocolates and usually they're milk chocolate but this was like a limited edition banana flavor so I got this for Frank but he hasn't been able to eat it yet even though I've been back for a couple weeks because I've been taking so long to film this video. Okay. So Frank, now you can eat that. Also, this is Frank's most favorite candy in all of Japan. It's the Mitsuya Cider Gummies, which used to be really easy to find, and now they're really hard to find. And like you can find the Mitsuya Cider hard candies, but in all of Tokyo, when I was there, this is the only one package of Mitsuya Cider Gummies that I found. And they're a new shape. They look like macaroni shape very strange anyway I always get these these are okay so first of all they're rose flavored you can get rose or you can get peach rose but they all taste like rose to me they have hyaluron um, I don't know if I say it right but I always say hyaluronic acid so it's the stuff that is in face cream that helps draw moisture to your skin so your skin doesn't get all dry um, if you have a really dry skin you know what I'm talking about but they actually make it like an edible form so they like call this a beauty candy although I can hardly see why you know eating sugar is probably not going to make you beautiful so it's gimmicky but I think they're delicious and so I always buy them there okay enough with the candies let's get on to the pens and pencils and awesome stuff okay so we have a um, a Snoopy Kudu Toga and Kudu Toga lead set. This is a 0.5 Snoopy Kudu Toga. And let me take it out of the package because it's so cute. I can't even stand it. So it's like Snoopy with his friends like Belle. And it's, it's you know, really has a, a pastel and white look to it. It's really pretty. It's got pale pink accents. What is, this guy's called Woodstock, right? He's on there also, oh, let's zoom in to Woodstock here. I don't know why I'm having, here, hold on. Sorry, there we go. Now you can see it better. So this is the new Snoopy Kudu Toga and we're selling it on our site with the lead refill set. Would you like to see that more up close? Because it's so cute. Now, of course, this lead refill set, if you go through lead really fast, you know, it's refillable. So you can keep using this. You can refill it with Kudu Toga lead or any kind of lead you want. If I were you, I'd keep 0.5 lead in there, though, because otherwise you might end up confused. All right, so... There's the new cute Snoopy Kudu Toga. Over the years, we've had several different Snoopy Kudu Togas, 
and each time they come out with them I like think they can't get any cuter. All right, now there's another really cool Kudu Toga that I might be even more excited about than the Snoopy, I don't know, but it's Bambi. Let me take Bambi out. This is pale pink with a lot of pastel colors. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that when I was in Japan, there were pastel displays of things everywhere. I mean, they are like really into pastel stationery right now which I think is very exciting because I love pastels. I always have. But this, this one is super adorable, this Bambi one. I love it. For those of you who don't know about the Kudu Toga, it rotates the lead as you use it, so the point remains sharp, which is really cool, instead of getting like a real wedged, a real wedged angle on your lead, it stays at a point like this because it's rotating as you write with it. That's why it's called the Kudu Toga. All right, so that's Bambi Kudu Toga. We have a, a couple Coletto things. We have here the Hello Kitty Coletto. This is the Coletto N with Hello Kitty on it. So it's got that, that more easy to open top. You guys know the old, the old style of top, which they still do use on kind of the original original series uh, it's kind of tough to open and this this is a little more simple you guys would uh, I spare you guys these details sometimes but oh my gosh people people getting their custom multis for the first time end up breaking them a lot of times <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I've done like a lot of videos on how to do it. It's really hard to describe to people how to do it. And so I think it's just a foreign enough concept to people that they get these new, you know, these new things and they just start jamming the refills into them. They don't quite get it. And so ugh, if you have any suggestions for people that are going to use the Coletto or any of the other custom multis for the first time, you know, maybe lessons you learned the, the hard way, <laughs> leave a comment below because it will help other people. And it will also help me get fewer emails. <laughs> All right, so we have Hello Kitty strawberries. I think those might be Madeline's. You know that little cake cookie Madeline? I don't know, it looks like it to me. But anyway, this is Hello Kitty Strawberry. Very pretty pastel color. This one's Hello Kitty Cherry. Sweet cherry. And it has dots on it, which is very cute. And it's more of a blue and red look. And then this one is, we, we call it Hello Kitty Favorite Things. I don't know what it's technically called because they just gave it a letter code, but I mean, it's got everything from mittens to keys to slippers to milk on here. I don't bubble gum. It's very, I don't know. I just think it's Hello Kitty's favorite things. She's got a, she's writing a letter with a feather pit, a quill pen, which is kind of cool. Um, so those are the new Colettos. They hold four Coletto refills, which come separately, as hopefully you know and understand by now. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that either. Okay, let's see. Let's do a non-pen thing. No, 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 let me do the other Coletto thing first. Okay, so this is um, Mary Quant's Cosmetics on Pink 10 color set. People requested more 10 color sets. We've had a really hard time getting them and we finally did get a batch of these and there is a pen barrel that matches it so if you're still looking for the pen ink set you're going to be able to get it on our site for a short time and then this one comes with the violet not all the 10 color sets in these limited edition kits come with the violet this one does i like to point that out all right <laughs> 
Okay, so despite me watching the Japanese pen sites and catalogs like a hawk, I somehow missed that Pilot came out with the Juice in Sky Blue. I think this is pretty new. I was just starting to see it pop up in Japan. That's how I knew about it. Um, so it's very exciting. So it's available in 0 0.38, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7. And here's the awesome thing. You guys, um, if you've been paying attention to me for a while, know that I am obsessed with the Sarasa Clip in pale blue, okay? This is like Pilot Juice kind of copying the Sarasa ink in pale blue. And I also think that probably part of it was this, you know, because pastels are so popular right now, they were like, okay, we gotta, we gotta do this. Let me show you. Let me show you, let me show you. Okay, I have a little notebook here. This notebook came from 7-Eleven and it's from an old Japan haul. I probably told you guys about it or Instagrammed it or something. It's, it's like really nice quality. <laughs> I wish 7-Elevens in the US had stuff like that. Okay, so the Sarasa ink in pale blue is available, you know, in the regular Sarasa clips, or it's also available in prefill. So I have one here in my prefill. So let me just show you. Let's see what size. I think I'll do. I'm a fine point gal, so I'll do Sarasa. Pale blue. And here is no <laughs> the juice sky blue. And let me kind of do this, you'll see better. It is even more pastel than the pale blue, which is pretty cool. I always like it when companies kind of try to copy the other company, but maybe do it even better. Be really careful about this color because if you're ordering something from Mitsubishi in sky blue, it's a pretty bright color. And if you're ordering this juice, you're going to get a, a pastel blue, really. You know, in some, in some odd way, it looks like a faded blue. Like I could, sometimes when I'm writing with it, I think, oh my gosh, it's so weird that I like this color because it kind of reminds me when your blue ink is writing faded, but like in this awesome intentional way, so it's really hard for me to describe. But here's the thing that I wanna point out also for you guys is I th both of these you could pair with gray, which I think is really cool. Like if you're doing a, a color scheme in your planner or something like that. Let me just bring this up here. So if you wanted to pair it with the Sarasa Gray, here's the Sarasa Gray. Okay. Very cool. And then you wanted to pair either of these colors with the Juice Gray. Here's that one. So, you know, different but similar. This Sarasa gray, I think, next to this juice gray, looks more purple. But if you had it alone and separate, it looks, you know, just very gray. So I think, you know, it'd be very cool to see how people want to pair these. Pairing it with a light pink would be really cool too. Anyway, so I guess that was a lengthy way of telling you that the juice is now available in this sky blue which is a pastel blue and i love it it's you know probably one of my newest favorite pens and this is exactly why i have to go to japan because despite looking at those catalogs almost every stinking day i somehow somehow they slipped this in and i didn't even know and i hadn't merchandised it for the store yet but now we have it ordered and it will be up on our store by the time this video launches so if you're seeing this you can go order it 
Okay, so I think that's enough there. While I have this pulled out, my pastel folder, I love getting this, these high quality A, this would be A5, I think. Isn't this A5? Yeah, this is A5. Um, I really like getting these high quality um, A5 paper. It's just nice and thick and I love it. And so I got this A5 folder that is a real nice quality stock. It's like, um, I don't know why I have it in the plastic. That's really annoying. Oh yeah, it's because I like keeping things in the package if I'm gonna show them to you. This is by Lion. Lion. And perfect for my little papers and my little notebooks that are A5 size. And really I just was seeing these pastel colors so much in Japan that when I saw this, I'm not even really a blue person, but this like baby blue, this reminds me of like 1980s when the men wore like baby blue. I don't, I don't understand why I'm liking it so much, but I am. So anyway, this is, why is the focus a problem? Sorry about that, you guys. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, focus. Okay, ah, there we go. There's my pale blue. Looks good on our marble table, isn't it? See those blues next to it? Okay, anyway. So I pick up, I always pick up random stationery stuff like this when I'm there, because it's so hard to find this cute stuff in the US. Okay, so I pick up these. Okay, well this is a washi tape that we already sell. I just was decorating this little folder. But I love these like receipt size folders. And I you know, they had them in pastel colors, of course. So I picked up one of those. And then this is a existing washi tape we have called, I think it's called Flowers, Flowers and Lace. I'll annotate right here what it's called. Sorry about that. We sell it. It's one of our most popular washies and it's so pretty anyway. Um, not really a haul thing, but I actually had that roll of washi tape in my suitcase. So I, when I was there, I, I was using it for like every <laughs> everything. Okay. Whenever I go to Japan, I like to go to the Traveler's Factory and I pick up whatever's sort of there and cool. In my last video, I showed my Kaweko, Kaweko? I don't know, um, fountain pen that I've been trying to love. I love the way it looks. I'm not loving the way it writes. But I picked up these. These are like the lean, I don't know how to, L-I-G-N-E uh, paper clips, but they're even like, they're a different shape and they're very cute. But I thought these were pretty expensive. So I don't know if I'd recommend them. But I got them in gold and rose gold. And sometimes I wish I just could resist buying these kind of things. Because I'm not sure that I need more think little clips in my life. But anyway. And then I always get the Traveler's Notebook exclusive washi tapes because when people order Traveler's Notebook items, sometimes I think to use a Traveler's Notebook washi tape and I just feel like that's even more fun to get that. So yeah, those are the other things I got. At... Unfortunately, I can't sell these on my store because they're, they're Traveler's Factory store exclusives and so they don't let their authorized sellers sell them because they intentionally want them to be exclusive, which I respect that, that's fine. I'll sell what they'll let us sell, right? So another, another thing I did was I went to Kakimori and Kakimori, you can get your own like custom notebook made. So you pick everything from the back 
to the front to the kind of binding you want and the like so I picked the size of components I wanted I think they have two they had like a bigger size and a smaller size I, I think there were only two sizes but you can have it like side bound or top top bound so you could have your notebook um, you know going different ways with this pattern it would be kind of weird but and then you can pick if you wanted like the whole thing ring bound or just like I did like some top and bottom I thought that was cute you can pick the way you want your notebook to close I chose an elastic band in this gray because I thought it looked good with the onigiri and the back cover you can choose the kind of paper you you want oops I have private stuff in here let me turn the, let me turn the page okay <laughs> So I chose grid paper at the start and the grid paper they had there sort of has a pale blue slash gray line to it. I, I couldn't tell you if it's pale blue or gray. It looks like it could be either to me. And then, sorry I'm hiding private info, and then I chose some pastel blue did you see the theme of my trip all this like pale blue stuff i was buying um i i got this pastel blue paper next okay focus jeez i got this pastel blue paper next and then i got some craft paper for the back one pastel blue pack and one craft pack so if you ever can are able to go there and make your own notebook you can, I think you can pick up to four or five packs. I couldn't make it much thicker than this, but you could make it thinner than this. It just depends on, you know. And there were a few other customization things you could do, but I thought this is very cute. I think in the end it ended up costing me less than $20, I think. This is the same company that has the place you can mix your own custom ink. The, I told you in the last video, the ink part was closed. So the custom notebook was sort of my consolation prize. That's fine. And then I have two limited edition pens here. We won't be selling these because this is like a store exclusive for Tokyo Hands. But this is Tokyo Hands collaborated with Jetstream uh, Jet and... Um, Hands Green Branch Project, which I know nothing. I know nothing about this. Oh, it's probably Tokyo Hands Green Branch Project, and I, I just don't know. So anyway, this is a Jetstream Four Plus One with a beautiful wood barrel. If you if you're interested in wood barrel Mitsubishi pens, there is like the Pure Malt. But so this one I got for myself. This one is pink. And it's gorgeous, and I love it. And then this one I got for my brother-in-law. His birthday's coming up, and he works for us, so he's not allowed to watch this video until after his birthday. I feel like we should have, like, ultra-special pens in our line of work, right? So anyway, if you happen to be in Tokyo Hands, see if you can get your hands on this, ha, 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 before they sell out of them. Okay, well, I think that is it for Japan haul number two. Check out the Sky Blue Juice, our new Coletto items and our new Kudu Toga items, if you are interested. And stay tuned for Japan haul number three, which is coming very soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.